Next to the Grand Ole Opry, this Piedmont radio station is home to the second longest running live broadcast program, the Merry-Go-Round. It's just an institution this weekend, the Voice of the Blue Ridge, WPAQ Radio in Mount Airy will celebrate 75 years. As Fox 8's Chad Tucker found out, some of Roy's folks are keeping the tradition alive. To be a child. To be here at WPAQ, that's all we know is live radio. And that's what they've been known for. For 75 years. I think we still have the old time sound. We, uh, even though we're worldwide on the web, we still have a community base to everything. So I think that's kind of what makes us different. The voice of the Blue Ridge has been sharing the sounds of the hills, bluegrass, and old time music ever since radio pioneer Ralph Epperson signed on in Mount Airy in 1948. Uh, people would come from all over just to watch people play and, and uh, preach on Daddy's radio station. We used to record worship services. Ralph's son Kelly grew up working here and has been running the station since his dad passed away in 2006. Now my dad was a perfectionist. So it took a while to build this place. There's my dad. Uh, I reckon you all put out some as good a music as I ever heard. Some of the best. His dad started the station to share the talented musicians from these hills. And today, they still do just that. With much of the same equipment and format, they still read the daily obituaries. Still read the obituaries. We do that uh, three times a day. And next to the Grand Ole Opry, they still produce the second longest running live broadcast program, the merry-go-round. The old microphones still work, still use a lot of the old equipment that he babied. It still has a great sound. My friends all told me. The sound and the history from these hills that will never fade, thanks to WPAQ. I get to work for a radio station that's like a living, working museum and be with people I enjoy being around, have live radio still. So it's, it's a great feeling. In Mount Airy, I don't think there's another station like it anywhere. Looking for Roy's folks. I can't imagine being anywhere else. Chad Tucker. Or doing anything else. Fox A News. But to see that what it has become is just so gratifying. You can celebrate with WPAQ this Saturday, February 4th at the historic Earl Theater there in beautiful downtown Mount Airy. It all starts at 4.30 with a free concert from local bands and a viewing of the documentary on the station's founder, Ralph Epperson.